Hey guys, it's your girl Queen Brie and welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. As you can see by the title, today I'm going to be testing viral makeup TikTok mm. Viral TikTok makeup hacks. There we go. Viral TikTok makeup hacks. And this is something I've wanted to do for a while. But every time I do my makeup, I always forget to go through my legs and find each video. So today I have them all saved in a folder from eyebrows to contour to baking. Every stage of my makeup, I have a video for. That's what I'll be following. I'm not sure how it's going to turn out, but I'm super excited. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And let's get started. So you already know I have to start off by putting on my makeup headband bow and today the theme is purple so we're a little matchy matchy there we go i literally look bald i look like an easter egg head but anyways let me show you guys my setup for today i have all of my makeup my brushes my james charles palette which i'll be using today my mirror and some pretty flowers also, before we begin, I want to show you my Valentine's nails. These are so cute. I honestly got them last year and I was obsessed, so I had to get them again. Okay, now let's get started. Just so you guys know, my mirror is right here and this is probably where I'm going to be looking for the most part. But I will definitely be doing my back and forth. So the first thing we're going to do are my brows. And I honestly found two videos for this. So I'm going to do one on one side and one on the other have to do anything but now that you're listening brows like this can take away the attention from the rest of your beautiful features instead begin by brushing up your brows with any brow gel carve your brows using a flat brush with a brightening concealer by carving out your brows before you're giving yourself an outline on where you need to fill in finish off by defining the top of your brow you know the new trend is to get your eyebrows laminated and have them all sticking up i don't know if i'm with that trend but I do like how he just started off with using a clear brow gel and then he concealed and then he just filled it in. I feel like that's something that would work for my brows because they are pretty full. So I'm gonna start off by brushing them before the clear gel. As you can see, I have a hole on the side. It really bothers me a lot. It's just not growing. This clear brow gel that I'm gonna be using is by Benefit 24 Hour Setting. So he just brushed all of his hairs up. Personally, I like to then take the top of the brush and bring the hairs down after they're all up. I don't want them to stay like that. It's kind of gives them more of a shape. Other than that wild look. Boom. I was only supposed to be doing one eyebrow, so I hope that doesn't mess up the process of the next video, but okay, I'm just gonna do this one side. So after he did the clear brow gel, he concealed under. So I'm gonna use my MAC brush, flat brush, and my pot concealer by MAC in the shade NC42 to carve out the bottom. Now this is really weird for me because I always fill in my brows before concealing, so that's new. I'm also gonna be using the angled brush, also for MAC, for the tail. That looks pretty nice. Normally I would go on top, but he did not do that. Then he took, did he use a pencil? I don't know, but then he filled in the top. So I'm just gonna fill in the top. Which this side is pretty full. And by the way, I'm using my Morphe eyebrow pencil. So now I'm gonna blend out the concealer. Again, he did not conceal the top, which is a little odd to me, but okay. Okay, for the other eyebrow. I'm gonna show you a hack to have perfect eyebrows. For my routine, eyebrows are the first step. Me too. Now what you're gonna do is take your concealer, and this looks scary, but you're just gonna go <sighs> and blend it out. I'm only going to do this on one to show you the difference. Do also, don't come for me that this don't match my skin because my face has a lot of redness, but my skin Ooh, actually pulls really yellow. Hair. Next, just fill in your brows as normal. I'm using a brow powder. Now, clean them up with that same concealer and a flat brush. These are the brows. Now, let me show you the differences. This one is perfectly carved out. It seamlessly blends into the skin because the concealer was already there. Whereas this one, Ooh. you kind of can tell it was carved out. When I carved this one out, I only carved like this bottom part. Where this one, I need to put the concealer all around so it's not this color skin, if that makes sense. Like in the front, there's a little gap where you can see my natural skin tone. 
Okay, so I'm not sure if that's just because of her skin tone because I never really have that problem. You can see my skin tone underneath and normally it wouldn't matter. I don't know. I don't really understand why she did that because as you can see from this side, I don't have that problem. She's just really pale, but okay. So I have my concealer by Born This Way in the shade Honey. Oh my god, I don't know how this is going to feel. Oh. Ew. Yeah, I don't like the way that felt. Okay, damp beauty blender. And I'm just going to dab that out. This might have been better for number one, somebody with fair skin. And number two, somebody who doesn't have full brows. Probably. Because you have to draw them anyways. But I like to just fill in, not draw my brow completely. So now I'm going to have to draw. Yeah, I don't like this at all. It's still like a weird color. It's like thick and cakey. It's lighter. Oh my gosh. No me gusta. Okay, now I'm gonna conceal. Okay, so this is this brow and this is this brow. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this. So if you wanted to try this out, you don't have to because I'm telling you now it's gross for my eyes i'm gonna be doing my own little purple look i'm gonna play around with my james charles palette using the purple shades hope i can make something cute before i put on my shadow i'm gonna put some concealer so that it can be more pigmented i'm gonna be using my la pro girl concealer because this is lighter than my other concealer The brushes that I'm gonna be using, honestly, I got sent from a company that actually scammed me. Little quick story time, they honestly scammed me because they were not a real company and a few of my followers ended up purchasing the brush sets and never getting it and apparently the website was like taken down right after they bought it. And I literally personally cash shopped everyone that bought one so that they can have their money back because I would never want to promote something that was fake or was a scam and I felt so, so bad. But I will be using their brushes today. They're not really the best, but I have so many and they're just sitting here so I figured I can use them but it does upset me to use these brushes knowing that they were scammed lessons learned though the first shade I'm gonna use is the darkest purple on here and I'm gonna put that into my crease these brushes are a little foo foo this purple is very much pigmented I'm also gonna put that in my corner of the lid Right now it looks a little scary. Trust the process. Now I'm gonna go in with a lighter shade. This one. I'm gonna just go on top and blend the line out so it's not as harsh. So blend, blend, blend. I have to say, maybe if I was using a Morphe brush, just a better brush, this would probably look way better right now. So shame on me for trying to use these cheap brushes. But it is what it is. So I'm gonna go in with my Born This Way palette. I always use this for this light shade for under my brow. It's called Swan. And that's just to blend out the concealer. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of my makeup remover and a cotton swab. Just press it down like that. And I'm gonna remove the makeup from top of my lid right here. I'm gonna go back in with my concealer and I'm just gonna conceal right where I took it off. I'm gonna take my beauty blender and just kind of blend that out a little bit. Now I'm gonna go back in with my palette and I'm gonna be using this really beautiful shimmer purple. And just apply it on the lid. Oh my god, it's so pretty. So, so pretty, okay. I'm gonna go back in with that dark purple and just get the ends of my lids. So that it's kind of like ombre. Hey. 
I like colors, guys. Now I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid eyeliner. Come to my favorite part, the big reveal. Oh yes, that looks good, honey. That looks real good. Okay, so I didn't put my tape far enough right here, so I'm just gonna take that same makeup remover and get that off. Okay, I'm gonna finish my liner. Perfect! It still looks a little crazy, I promise. It's gonna look really good when we put the lashes and when we get this face beat. So now for primer. This video was a viral video that I'm sure everyone has seen. Um, I never got a chance to try it, but this is a pretty old video. If you wear makeup, watch. Change your whole routine and try this instead. Moisturize first. Then after moisturizing, take some translucent powder. I usually use the Fit Me one, and I just lightly dab it all over my face. Not too much. Then take some setting spray. It could be any setting spray. I usually use the NYX one. After the setting spray, take a primer and just put your primer. Also, wait for the setting spray to dry first. Then just put on your foundation and just see what happens and how amazing your fucking makeup is gonna look. And it's gonna stay on 24 seven and it's not gonna crease. Okay, so this is something that sounds amazing for people with oily skin, which is me, because having that powder first is gonna help with oil control. So start off with a moisturizer. I'm gonna be using this one by Laneige, just cause it was right here. I honestly don't use a moisturizer and I know that that's like, essential even when you're doing your makeup on a regular i never do because my skin is oily and i try not to put more oil on it then translucent powder i'm going to be using this one from dermablend i'm just going to be taking this brush from real techniques and oh i want to see and applying it on she said not too much so i'm going to just like Rub it in. I can already tell that my face looks super matte. And it looks like all of my pores are filled. Like my face looks really smooth. Okay, then she said setting spray. I'm going to be using my favorite Morphe. Just going to let that dry a little. My foundation I'm going to be using. Makeup Forever in the shade 435. here. I don't like to put a lot of foundation. And I finally got the Morphe brush that I wanted that they didn't have in my haul. It's the M439. It's a foundation brush and it's amazing. Make sure to dab and not rub. But oh my gosh, this looks really good. I'm not gonna lie. I like this hack so far. Oh my god. Guys, I forgot my primer. After setting spray is primer. But this looks really good already, so I can't imagine if I would've put primer on. Wow, I played myself. I'm so mad at myself. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Guys, if you end up doing this hack, make sure you use your primer and let me know how it works using primer. Bam. And the neck. Okay. Moving on. Next is concealer. I personally love, love, love this TikToker. He's the best. I learned so much from him and all of his tips are really helpful. Do you do your concealer like this and you find it's dragging your face down? Let me show you how to help with that. The reason I'm not a fan of the triangle shape under the eye is because it emphasizes the lowest point of the cheek way too much in my opinion. So I'm gonna show you my preferred method and also the benefit of this one is that it lifts the face. This is a shape I want you to try. The reason I take it onto the side of the nose is that it gives the nose a natural contour. So I'm gonna blend this out and show you the difference. So as you can see, there is a clear difference. This eye is much more lifted and the highlight isn't on the main focal point of the cheek. Whereas this one here, while yes, everything's covered and everything, the highlight is right here. There is a lot of product sitting right on the cheek as opposed to under the eye and lifting the face. Try this out and let me know how you go. Personally, I never made a triangle under my eye, but I did use to fill this whole thing with concealer. So let's try his way. I'm gonna be using my Born This Way concealer in the shade Honey. You took it on the side of the nose. Oh, that is not a straight line. On the side of the nose. 
a little bit under the eye and then up here for a lift side of the nose a little bit under and up here up with my beauty blender make sure you're using a damp beauty blender I can see where it lifts the face. I can definitely see that. I love that. I think this is gonna be my new concealer technique. Hey, let's keep going. Like I said, I love him, so here's another video from him. Let's talk about baking and why I don't recommend it. What is baking, you might ask? Baking is where you put a thick layer of powder underneath your eye or wherever you want that highlights your face. It is a drag makeup technique that they use to hold on their heavy makeup throughout the whole night of performances. It's also something that's done so their makeup can be visible in club lighting and from anywhere, hence the term painted for the back row. So I'm going to show you, I'm using my favorite under eye powder, which is the Hourglass Veil Powder. On this side, I'm putting it on with a brush, on this side, I'm going to bake. So on a damp mm. beauty sponge, I'm patting in the powder and already this starts to happen. So this is typically left on for about five minutes or longer and then wiped off with a brush. So I'm going to wipe it off mm, after five minutes and then come back and show you. Okay, so you might be thinking, that side looks a lot smoother. This is studio lighting. Let me go outside in natural lighting where it's no lies. Okay, so now that I'm outside, you can see the patchiness. It clings to dry spots. Mm. You can really see the powder build up and it creates a lot of texture. So stick to a brush with powder and that's all you need. I'm not gonna lie, he just broke my heart because I love baking. I love a good bake. I love how it looks. It does leave it a little cakey, that's true, but I personally like that, but okay. He also used a damp beauty blender, and when I bake, I use a dry one. I think that makes a big difference, but he said to use a brush and not to bake, to press it in. That's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna be using my brush from Royal Technique and setting powder from Huda Beauty in shade Blondie. I've never done this with a brush. Ooh, okay. This smells so good. I love it. Wait, okay, so I can definitely see a more smoother finish. Like it's definitely more smooth and lighter, not as cakey. But I do love a good bake, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit more because I can't help myself. I do also really love this natural facelift that I have going on. So in my normal makeup routine, after I would bake, I would do my lashes and then wipe the bake off. So since I'm not baking, I'm gonna go ahead and put my lashes on right now. The lashes I'm gonna be using are just some old ones that I had already used last night. And I'm gonna be using my glue from Duo. Making sure they're really dry first before I put them on. And I do press on top right when I put it on. And then when I open my eyes, I squeeze them to my natural lash. Okay, honey. These eyes look amazing once I added the lashes. I am very, very proud of this look. This eyebrow is literally throwing me off. It is so ugly, but I love, I love, love the shadow. Okay, next is bronzer. Stop applying your bronzer in the shape of a three with a big fluffy brush because it's actually hiding your beautiful features rather than accentuating them. Instead, you want to use a thinner angle brush. This is actually a blush brush. Now, you want to suck in your cheeks to see where they hollow and place your bronzer right above that line and blend upwards. Blend the excess along your forehead. Notice how this technique lifted and defined my cheekbones. For my bronzer, I'm going to be using Puma in the shade Caramel. He uses a blush brush. Just like I do, so it's angled. This is from MAC. He puts it right here and then brushes upwards. I used to really bring it all the way down, so this is new for me. I'm gonna blend it into my temple. Looks a little harsh. I'm gonna try to like soften it. And I'm gonna bring it up to my forehead too and my temples just because that's normally what I do. I'm loving everything so far. Okay, next. Okay, the next thing is the one that I am most excited to do in this video because I have never seen this technique before. 
Let's watch it. This is the one I really wanted to try out. I have my fork here. I don't know how sanitary this is, but I'm gonna get my fork. Makes me feel a little weird, but let's try this. So I don't use a cream contour. I use this powder only, so I hope that works. I'm gonna be using two of my scam brushes, okay? I'm trying to use them. Let's see if I can see it on here. Here we go. Okay, but my nose kind of like has to be done like this. Hers kind of was just there and flat. I don't have that kind of nose. So hopefully this works. Okay, so in the middle, I'm gonna gotta lean, gotta lean my fork. I hope this is in the middle. How funny would that be if this was not the middle? I'm not so sure, I can't move. <laughs> I'm not so sure how it's gonna work with the powder, but hopefully it does. This is hilarious. I don't see myself adding this to my routine. Okay. <laughs> what is that? Okay, that was a, a complete fail. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is for real. I'm just gonna like super blend that contour cause there's like a, it just looks like my nose is dirty. Honestly, this is embarrassing. Oh, TikTok. Okay, then she uses some setting powder. I'm gonna be using my Huda Beauty and set the middle and the sides. I think my line's too thick. The whole point is to make it look slim do that too well. I'm gonna let that sit for a little. So now I'm gonna brush everything out. Oh man, this is a hot mess. Yeah, I don't think I had the nose for it from the beginning. Okay, so I think I blended it as much as I can, but it's still giving me like drag queen. It's bringing more attention to my nose and making it look bigger and making it look smaller, but let's keep going. Blush. Remember when you first started wearing makeup and when you were applying blush, everyone told you to smile and put it right here and swipe? That is wrong, honey. Let's fix it. When you apply pigmentation right here to the cheek and swipe up, it's just going to cause your face to look super droopy. What you actually want to do is get it right by the temple and brush in towards your nose and just put it right there. That is going to give a lifting effect to your face. I'm trying to put on a lot here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. You can kind of see it kind of brings the eye upward. Now I'm going to do the other side the way you've been doing your blush. So I'm smiling and I'm just applying color right here and I'm swiping up. See, I'm like trying to make it upward so I could kind of like get that lift. Mm. This side. Yeah. That side. Like, can we see? Can we see the difference? Like super saggy, super youthful. Look at it again. Down. Uh, up. Wow. There you go. She said from here to here, basically right over the contour for the lift, the lifting effect. Everything's about lifting now, I guess. People are starting to look old. I wanna look like they have a natural facelift. I never had this problem, but I'm here for the lift look. It makes you look more snatched. I honestly love blush. I feel like it makes you look so happy and so young. Do you guys see my lift or not? Nah? So that is it for all of the makeup packs. Now I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia Glow Kit and my blending brush from MAC and do my highlight as I normally would. So crazy, I guess everything goes on this area of your face now. I'm gonna bridge on my nose, this horrible contour, guys. And then a lighter shade on the tip. Sometimes I can take it underneath my eyebrows since we have a dramatic look today, why not? Okay, and now I'm gonna do some mascara. I'm gonna be using this one by Maybelline. I'm gonna put just a little bit under my fake lashes. And then I really wanna do my bottom lashes with this.
So now I'm gonna go back in with my James Charles palette and I'm gonna add some of that shimmery purple that's on my eyelid underneath in my waterline. Just in the front. And maybe in the teardrop too. Okay, just adds like a little touch. Now I'm gonna go in with my lip colors that I talked about in the What's in My Bag video. These are my favorite for a nice nude look. First by NYX in the shade Downtown Beauty, this brown, my bad, this brown color. I'm gonna line my lips. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with Whirl from MAC. And just put that all in the middle. And then I'm gonna go in with Creme de Nude from MAC as well and put that in the inner center. I like to take my finger and like dab it out to blend a little better and then lastly my butter gloss from NYX in the shade fortune cookie I love 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 this combo it gives you a natural pout um, I know I have a little bit of filler, but it just gives it a bigger effect. So if you don't have filler and you want a bigger look, always use a dark liner and a lighter inner. Now for the final step, using my all-time favorite setting spray. Ew, it's so dirty. I'm gonna set this face. I'm gonna let that dry. Let me take my headband off because I'm feeling myself. So guys, I had so much fun making this. There's definitely a few hacks that I will be adding to my makeup routine. All in all, I like how my face turned out. I'm very, very proud of my shadow. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave comments. I love your comments. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video.